Just about set for nighttime baseball from the gateway to the west, St. Louis, Missouri, and Bush Stadium. Tonight, it's a matchup from the NL Central between the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Who will get the better of this compelling matchup? We'll find out next on MLB Network. Miles Michaelis, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Leading off Standing tonight for in, Milwaukee, Lorenzo Cain. And we are set for baseball Lorenzo here this evening. Cain. First offering on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Oh, okay. Back. I see how it's going to be. You're going to implore that. You're going to use the ambush tactics and not playing nice right there. Usually you're supposed to take the 0 0 pitch to start the game. He wasn't paying attention. In is Christian Yelich. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Calling for it, Bader. One out. With that, here's that a look at the third. Brewers' starting the lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, look out for Lorenzo Kane as this game moves along. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. So digging in now, Jesus Aguilar, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. This is line to left. Ozuna is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Well, he hit that, that ball cool. pretty well, but the, the only baseman. problem was that he pulled Rabbit. off it just a bit. Oh. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And a scaling attempt at the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. It's a two-run homer for Travis Shaw. And the Brewers move out in front now two to nothing. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got, a really bad result. Here's Ryan Braun now. Number eight. Ryan As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And a big swing there by Braun, but he comes up empty. No balls and two strikes. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. Mind to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside that half of the plate right there. The Try to bust base. him in, D-Row, and he Mike. fights it off the other way. Yeah, He's you stopped. tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Mike Mustakis as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. 
So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. That was pretty obvious in live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit velo. An impressive swing of the bat. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. But the Brewers do get two on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first, it's 2-0 Milwaukee. Brandon Woodruff will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matty, if you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher, you're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the games. He's one of those guys you feel really confident that could go into that seventh, eighth, and even the ninth inning. A workhorse. Here's Matt Carpenter. Here It'll lead Four things off here in the bottom half of the first. First, first delivery to him on the way. Eight. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals starting lineup. Mark what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight. Well Matt this lineup finds themselves down two runs nothing crazy everyone relax stay within the game plan find a way to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring in the Illinois State product Paul DeYoung. First pitch coming, here it is. Zero. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an I offensive eat. player, you have to find a consistent zone. You oh, just okay. can't. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. You want to talk about setting a tone and getting your teammates relaxed? That's exactly what this pitcher did coming in and punching tickets. First two batters of the game. Goldschmidt, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization. He was acquired via trade last year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And First look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Brad. And I'm sure that one stinks a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Marcelo Zuna. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. No, that's too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center.
Savoy what looked like a quick inning gets the first two out then it hit by pitch and a single to keep things going. Yeah you never know what's going to start a rally. Take one for the boys hit by pitch right there now a couple good A.B.'s and we're on the board. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Goldschmidt on second. Ozuna at first, two out in the inning. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. Pulled toward right center field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. It's on to inning number two now in St. Louis. The Brewers lead it two to nothing.